let's talk about gross rent and charges that are allowable. So gross rent is the tenant paid portion of rent plus any utility allowances for utilities that the resident pays plus any mandatory fees to live there plus any non-optional services or fees. This equals your gross max rent. Now, these charges can never exceed your gross max rent allowable limit. When we are doing this calculation, do not include Section 8 payments or other subsidy type payments like Section 8 in this calculation. Um, utility, utility costs do not include phone or cable. And um, the, the gross max rent cannot exceed uh, the limits for your county based on the 50 or 60 percent AMI for your county again and your LURA limits. Let's talk about fees. Any fees not discussed in this video should not be charged. And any questions about fees, please contact us. Please contact our office and we will be happy to talk with you about any other fees you have questions about. So uh, non-refundable charges. Non-refundable charges, no matter the frequency charged or paid, so even if it's a one-time thing, they must be included in this calculation. Those are considered non-optional uh, charges. Application fees, uh, those have to be the actual cost of checking the income, the history, uh, credit history, or the landlord references, but those are allowable. The security deposit, of course, security deposits are allowable. Uh, security deposits, including pet deposits, must be fully refundable uh, and must be comparable for your tax credit units and your market units and cannot be excessive. Months to month fees are allowable. However, these are considered mandatory fees. So even if you are charging them or not, they must be included in this calculation and not cause the calculation to go over the max, um, the gross max rent. Required renter's insurance. Required renter's insurance, again, if it is, even if it is not being charged, if it is required, it's considered a mandatory, uh, mandatory fee and must be included in this calculation and again, not cause the, the calculation to go over the max, uh, the gross max rent. Non-optional fees must always be included in this calculation. A service or fee is only considered non-optional when two conditions exist. When it is not a condition of occupancy, so they do not have to pay the fee to live there, and if there is a reasonable alternative. So both of those have to exist for it to be considered um, optional. Um, an, an eviction turnover fee, these are allowed. Eviction turnover fees should only be charged when a resident is actually being evicted. The, the fee should go to the management company for preparing the file to go to the attorney. It cannot be charged upfront. It has to be when they're actually being evicted. And um, it can never exceed the service of notice fee, which is of course mandated or, or set by the state. Project amenity fees can be charged only if the amenities are not included in an eligible basis. So tenant facilities included in an eligible basis must be made available to all residents uh, without a fee. So before charging any fees, contact us, look at your uh, original application, look at your LURA before charging any fees.